All right, what's going on, you guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Uh, before I start the SEMA vlogs, which is next week, I'm going to give you guys an updated vlog on what's going on with all the cars before we park them for the, I guess, for the season. Some of you guys have been asking me about the GTR. I'm going to go give you guys a rundown. Let's go. All right, so the weather is really cold in Canada right now, especially in Alberta. It's, it's pretty cold. Well, if, halfway through the season, this is actually warm, but for now, it's pretty cold for any kind of summer tires. So I already got the winter tires on. I call them winter tires because these are for my storage. Because if you get a flat spot or you park it for too long, you get a flat spot. So that's why I put these on. I, it's a good thing I never sold them because you're not going to get your money's what for these. It's just, yeah, you're just literally giving them away for free. So. That's why I decided to keep them and it worked out. So just to answer you guys why the GTR hasn't been driven or, well, Johnny hasn't been driving it, but I haven't been driving it as often. Uh, there's a fuel issue. It leaks out of the passenger rear tire. You can, when you fill up all the way, you smell fuel. And I figured out what it is. I checked online. There's not a whole lot of things going on. There's a lot of guys or a couple guys that have posted with the same symptoms, but never solved the problem. But I'm gonna show you guys, for all you guys with the R35s, hopefully you guys don't run in the same issue. So I'm gonna save you guys a lot of grief. So for you guys that are planning on changing the fuel basket or servicing the fuel pumps, make sure you use the right screws because I ended up determining what was wrong with it. So I Googled online a couple of times, and there's only a couple guys that ever posted what's going on and but never resolved it or never i guess updated their vlog uh, not vlog but their thread of what was going on so i just trial and error with victor unfortunately it's not a good ending for me anyway so here i'm going to tell you guys so these are the radium engineering bolts so I, I took off the factory i mean i went back to factory so this is all factory now so the bolts that they supplied basically punch the hole through the uh, the ring that anchors this ring to hold down the basket. Uh, it's not the old ring because I changed the old ring. That's not the issue. What it is is these two bolts here is where the hole is. If you look at the factory ones, they're really, really short. They're designed for that purpose. If you go too long thinking that it's not an issue, you will puncture a hole through it. And that's what's happening with me right now. I can deal with it only if I don't fill it up all the way. If I fill it up all the way, it will leak. And that's why I'm smelling fuel when I park it. It's intense or it's intensified when I park it in the garage at home. At the shop here, it's not, too big, it's not, too, not a problem because it's basically ventilated. So if you guys have that problem, you're smelling it and you recently serviced your fuel pumps, uh, most likely it's the O-ring. It's a big blue one, 40 some dollars Canadian. Uh, hopefully that solves the problem, but if it's not, it's because you punctured through or whoever worked on your car did not use the right screws and punctured it. Um, I'm gonna start up the car. Once I get it all going, I'll see if it's leaking. It's at, it's at three quarters of a tank now. Uh, hopefully, it, well, it, it shouldn't leak, but you never know. Uh, but if it does, I'll show you guys. But uh, I'm gonna just put the top hat back on and the cover just so that it's not too bad and then go to go storage. All right, so that's what's going on with the GTR, you guys. Uh, at, right now, I don't know what's gonna happen with the, the future of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because the next thing is basically big brake, upgraded turbos, or a really sick body kit. And for all those three items, they're big money. It's a lot of work. The brakes, not a whole lot of work big money everything about this car is just big money so i don't know it's just follow along we'll see but the next move for it will be epic will be big and i promise you it's going to be sick you guys by the way you see the new addition so i went and got myself a hoist and this thing is pretty sick courtesy of my nephew he's uh moving on and he's getting out of the industry so he Basically sold me this sick, well not sick, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice hoist, it does the job. And uh, I put my nice touches on it, just some individualize it and then I think it's nice. But uh, thank you to Hui Fishing, best wishes for you and your family on your next venture and endeavor. Can't wait to see what you got up your sleeve. The first thing I noticed about this hoist is it needs lights. So I'm gonna put some kind of lighting underneath here, maybe some Amazon, really cheap LED lights that will light it up. Maybe we give it some underglow look, but look at all that space now we have to work on the car now. 
No more, uh, no more struggling with the scissor lift. No more struggling with that. It did its job, but uh, it's gonna be pretty nice, you guys, that I can actually access all the bolts and everything. And yeah, I can't wait to uh, work on this, uh, work on, on this hoist here. But look at that. The Honda is pretty nice, you guys. So clean and uh, oil change for it up, coming up next. So I'll do that over the winter. All right, so the few times I traveled to Japan, I noticed there's a couple of little silver, uh, it's like a seal, security seal on the back of like the license plates of all the cars in, J in Japan. And I've always wanted one of those. I'm like wondering how to get it. And apparently you can't get it because it's this permanent seal so that you can't change the license plates on that car. So basically the plate goes with the car once you register and that's it and they put the seal on and you can't break it. And to take it off, you have to break the seal. So David at Import Bibles created some. And this one, of course, is Tokyo. And uh, he has a whole bunch of them for all the prefectures, is what, I think that's what they call them, for all the areas in Japan. And uh, now you can have your own seal, but still be able to remove them. So we're gonna put them on the, uh, the GTR. Normally I take the GTR license plates off when I store them, but uh, yeah, this time we're gonna keep the plate on and put these on. All right, so what's inside the box? So you get two of these and two of these. And I wanna show you something really cool. It's a Torx wrench. And then this mounts to the plate. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna show you how, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, you guys ready for this? This is pretty cool, watch. Boom! It's on a magnet, eh? And it stays on and it's, it's not coming off. There you go, sick. <laughs> Very nice. So I'm just gonna do one, just like how they do it in Japan. Just they only have one seal, so yeah. Even though we got two of them. I just can't wait to try out this new hoist just to work on the, the undercarriage of the car. It's just so much accessibility now. Um, I'm pretty excited. So we've got some new stuff coming for the Civic. Uh, new exhaust is on its way. Can't wait to unveil that for you guys. You guys, it's, it's, it's sick. It's nice. Nicest one I've seen on the market right now. And uh, yeah, you guys gonna, it's, Ah, it's mind blowing. Hopefully I can actually see it in person at SEMA. That's one of the things I'm really excited to go this year because last year there wasn't even one FL5. Surprisingly, not even one. But this year, they already, people are already giving sneak peeks, especially Spoon. There's so many parts coming out for it and they're unveiling it all at SEMA. And I'm telling you, that's, it's gonna be, yeah. So excited, you guys. So, Thank you guys for all that have been supporting the channel and hitting the like buttons and watching. It just means a lot to me, you guys. Now we're able to do a lot more things with the channel because it's actually growing significantly. Thank you again for all you guys' support. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the GTR to its um, storage area and we're gonna go ahead and store it. We'll see you guys there. All right, so I just took it for a drive to the uh, storage facility. And if you can see clearly right there, see how it's starting to seep out. And uh, yeah, it's not a good thing. It just, and this is at three quarters of the tank and it's still leaking around there. So definitely punctured the hole through the tank. If you guys know how to fix this or if there's a remedy, let me know in the comments below you guys. I'd love the, the input. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's most likely a new uh, fuel tank. So don't do the same mistake that I did. Use the right screws. All right, so I'm back in the shop now. So I'm gonna go and take off my wheel. I have one here because one of you guys asked, because I totally forgot that I didn't measure the, or weigh the wheels uh, aftermarket compared to stock. So I'm gonna do that for you guys right now and that's pretty much, we're gonna end off the vlog.
It is kind of kind of a pain in the ass, you guys. It's, it is a lot of work just to get this one wheel off. Here's the car's on the hoist, and uh, I didn't really want to start the car up and everything, but it just did. And uh, yeah, it's gonna come off right now. Check out what we have in the shop. All right, so like in my previous vlog, I used the uh, trusty Tumi luggage uh, weight scale. So any guesses, what do you think? Do you think this is gonna be lighter or the uh, factory wheel is gonna be lighter? Uh, the thing is, that's a 19, less rubber. This is an 18 with more rubber. So it should kind of balance out. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty, pretty close, pretty spot on. So let's, uh, let's turn it on. Here he goes. Zeroed out. Gonna wrap it around here. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to pick it up without resting it on my knees because last time you guys were like. There we go. So 48.9 pounds, 22.2 kilos. That's not, that's actually pretty light, pretty light. Okay, we'll zero it out again. Okay, and that wasn't resting on my knees or anything. Not a breath, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, man. Ready? Oh, this is heavier. Oh no, it's not. It's lighter. Cause you're out of shape. It's lighter. Let's see. It is 45.9, 20.8 kilos. So, stock wheels or lighter? I think it's because all the rubber. I I kind of kind of knew that the rubber is what makes it really heavy, you guys. Not bad for stock wheels, eh? They are they are light. They are light. 